What's up, Scallywags? Today we're watching more Gumball. And if you want us to check out more of this amazing world, then get this video to 12,000 likes. We're streaming this on our Twitch. Watch us live so you can watch the reactions live and you can access the uncut commentaries on our Patreon link at the top of the description where you can vote on things that we're gonna watch on the channel. And subscribe to us because you don't want to miss an upload. These videos are so funny. We are being joined by a new student today. Now he's previously been homeschooled. So he's bound to be a little self-conscious. Oh my god, this is me. This is the first person of color to attend Elmore High. They said Third this emoji. character was previously homeschooled. Oh, it's literally you. Okay, so never mind. It's the first Filipino person to attend Elmore <laughs> High. Sorry. Phil stop calling me <laughs> Filipino. 78 plus 39 plus 14 plus 62 plus 51 is... Oh! Spring rolls, egg fried rice, sweet and sour pork, kung pao chicken, and chow mein. Was Darwin just naming Filipino foods right there? Chow mein, my favorite Filipino. <laughs> my finger is cooling things down. Anyway, he's your problem now. So just show Peter around. Dude, I love Peter Pepperoni over here. He definitely speaks like a nerd emoji. He hasn't said a single fucking word yet. <laughs> so Peter, what do you want to do first? Well, wherever I'm cool, lunch open the canteen there. Okay, he does speak like a nerd more too. He looks like a character that would have been initially sketched out to be like their third brother, but they like got rid of him or something like that. And then now they're bringing him back right at the very end. Louise, friendly close? <laughs> uh, catch the catch. Is this Gumbo trying to be friends with the black kid and he doesn't understand and he's freaked out? He's like, um, yeah, what is up, my fellow friend? <laughs> Word up to your mother. <laughs> Shouldn't Darwin be getting along with him? Darwin is whitewashed black guy, bro. He's yeah, he's adopted, the culture. okay. Darwin's the Tom Dubois. <laughs> yeah, he's the Tom Dubois of black people. I mean, of black, of white, of fish. <laughs> of fish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. I mean, here, just want to pay this now? <laughs> Go away. He plays Microsoft Flight Simulator? Is this man a fucking dad? I feel like only dads play flight simulators. Corey, you don't understand that. This is just you. I don't play flight simulators. You don't, but you have your own niche hobbies that no other kid would be interested in, but you are interested in it. HP's corner, which is triple picture of a good sign of the box. Peace. Oh no, never mind. It's me. I got my bicentennial quarter. Yeah, oh no, I, it's literally it's, me. Dude, it's just you two combined. It's if you two had a son. That's like the worst timeline like you couldn't make a worse human being no that's actually a really good timeline because i'm thoroughly in love with four and i want to have a child with him you must be gumball and darwin huh? oh yeah hi you must be peter's parents oh he's mentioned oh the pepperoni wait what they're they his parents kid. now that their mom is hot gumball's gonna be like wow peter's mom is really hot let's treat him good so we can see his hot mom something that swam into my pants when we were in the sewer and now i'm too afraid to look Let's put that in the maybe pile. Okie cokey. Here we go. Oh, the okie cokey. Okie All right, let's do some drugs, kids. Very warm. Oh, sweetie, they're not party hats. We're storming the Capitol. What the fuck? What they're the storming fuck is the going on capital? right now? The Baltimore character is robbing the bank. I see how it is. Low key, this is the coolest family ever. This is like Spy X Family Pizza Edition, bro. Can we talk about this? Spy X Family for Italians. Well, we know you boys share our views. Peter's always saying how you agree with him on practically everything. Is Peter like oh the my. fucking Unabomber? Oh my God, he's Pizza Kaczynski, bro. Always telling us what to do and what not to do. You can't take your son out of school. You can't teach him at home. You can't teach him how to speak. This is a terrifying episode. The pizza people are like barely in the show. We see him in the background and then they just make them these fucking criminals, bro. Once the these records are destroyed, the people of Elmore will be able to live like we do. Freely, without the government telling them what to do. This is based and pizza pilled. Oh my god, this is Pizzagate. The Pizzagate episode is real, bro. You're under arrest. Dude, poor Peter Pepperoni. His parents are criminals. Do not judge these actions in fact of one or both or all, but understand that it's not the deed or even the doer that is. This entire character is just the oven off the hot food meme. They're all on the internet anyway. Bye! What on the flat earth is the internet? Oh my gosh. They said Are what you... on the flat earth. We actually watched the most woke gumball episodes. What the fuck was that? I'm just saying, why do people say grapefruit and tuna fish, but not egg chicken or beef mammal? This is late epic random already. We're like two seconds into the fucking episode. What the hell did he just say? <laughs> What? Literally, oh my god, this is so epic random. Dude, I was about to say, why is the horse in a different art style? But then I remembered we are watching Gumball and everything <laughs> is in a different art style. How can you 
already have a buyer for a horse Dad just brought home. Oh, sweetie, do you really think I didn't expect your father to buy a horse at some point in our marriage? <laughs> <laughs> she predicted everything, man. <laughs> we need more Nicole. There's not enough Nicole in this show. I guess we're gonna have to tap into the money you save for me to go to college. <laughs> What is that facial expression anime moment? What the hell was that? That's confirmed that Gumball is not a trust fund baby and not a Nepo child. So I like him even more. Money. Money. Mm. <laughs> Dancing crab. He's literally crab raving. His mind is a crab rave right now. Let's talk about it. Hello. Oh, please come in. I'm Ethel and this is Bernie. This looks like a canceled Cartoon Network show. These characters are <laughs> Ethel and Bernie. A canceled show that had one season. I must say, the house looks a bit different than the photo on the ad. <laughs> Elmore b and I'm gonna be honest, the picture in the ad looks worse. Like, I would not want to stay at that. What are you talking about? It looks so uncomfy. And thanks. Ah! If anything loud or surprising happens. <laughs> They're drawn in a funny looking art style. They kind of look like Crayon Shin Chan art style. <laughs> They're just robbing them. They're just robbing these poor old people. Why don't they just go to a retirement home and like manipulate an old lady? This is basically what they're doing, but with extra steps. Like what the fuck is happening here? I don't know, Bernie. It's like I have this interior voice that woke up. Now I know that I want my memes dank and none of that cheeseburger week. Uh, <laughs> dank memes! Uh, dank memes from the old people! Season six is yikes. How are they doing this? This is terrifying. <laughs> they tied! They killed the they old killed people! They killed them. Well, now they can sell their corpses to the black market for their organs. Actually, the plot line of, like, an Airbnb owner who, like, murders everybody who stays there and eats them sounds like a real horror movie. I like that they drew pupils on him and then put sunglasses on top, so there was no fucking reason to put the pupils there. This episode's kinda good, Jack. I think you should take back what you said about the dank memes earlier. I think this episode is a dank meme. I think mean, they're putting too much effort into this crime. The police in Elmore are so stupid, they don't even have to do anything. <laughs> they could have just dumped the bodies in a river and they would never be found. It's okay to commit a crime if it means you get away with a different crime. Nicole, that's a terrible lesson. <laughs> I like that in this one time, Richard is like, that's a terrible lesson. Like, this is like the one time Richard is critiquing Nicole. You forgot something too. What? <gasps> to ask for your money. <sighs> 100, 200, three. No way. So doing crimes is good. Nothing wrong with that. I think it's sweet that you're still in love after all these years. You staged these memories. What? How did you guess? We're brother and sister. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Hey, they yo! did not just do that. That's I did a crazy not expect twist. that. What if instead they were like, we're brother and sister, but oh, we're from no. Alabama? Dude. Every time you recycle anything, you act as if you're single-handedly saving the world. Blah, 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 global warming. Blah, 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 climate change. Season six is a lot more political than the other seasons. I will make this as clear as I possibly can. The people were glib. The ape was not glib. How do you know the ape wasn't glib? They really like saying glib. What does glib mean? That's a slur. Don't repeat it, Jack. Glib. Welcome to Organic and Staff. I think all ethical- This is the most fucking Whole Foods place ever. This is if Whole Foods and Starbucks did a fucking fusion dance together. I've never harmed a single living thing. I've never harmed a single living thing. I don't really get this episode. This is Gumball really be saying, if global warming exists, then why am I cold right now? I'm so sorry. Let me just- I'm surprised he drives a car. Like, I feel like that would be one of the first things you would get rid of. It's a hybrid, though. Dude, hybrids are also bad for the environment. The car battery has to be replaced more often. And it has more lithium and shit in it. But lithium's so delicious. <laughs> this is me when I when I enter any place. I get what assaulted by mean? squirrels. Mr. Small be like, I'm conservative now. Mr. Small be like, I go on Twitter now. Mr. Small be like, I go on threads now. Boys, I'm so glad you're okay. <gasps> Mr. Small, why were you 
you chasing us? Is that a descriptor for something specific? His brain is pretty small, to be honest. Not his micro penis. His micro penis is normal sized for a micro penis. Oh my he's god. He's so real. He's so detailed. Oh my god, he has, he has I beautiful he eyes. <gasps> Will it be okay? Please eat it. It's just a hole. I guess he'll be. Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, see you back at school tomorrow? Yeah. Gumball murders someone and then buries it with his teacher, and then he's like, don't come to school tomorrow, kids. Well, he didn't murder him. He just assisted <laughs> in their suicide. I heard there was a nip slip from uh, Richard in this episode, so I'm really excited. A nip slip? That man is proudly presenting at every moment possible. Maybe it was about Mrs. Simeon, maybe? Or Tobias? Or Tobias's dad? Or Tobias's mom? Did you bring the money? Ten million dollars! Okay, it's Richard. It's, it's Richard. It's like, no, five seconds in, you just know what type of episode this is gonna be once Richard starts narrating the fucking ducks. Sorry we missed you. Darn it! Oh my goodness. Please tell me this isn't gonna be a FedEx can't they they don't come to the door episode i like the way the eagle looks he looks really cool i caught you i can take my package now i'm sorry i'm sorry my dear why the fuck is he british <laughs> bald eagles are american they're american majestic well, creatures this show was made by a lot of british people right so maybe this was like their way of getting revenge it will be returned to the depot as per subsection 37B of company- Oh, he's German. He's not even British. Oh. This is really okay. their way of getting revenge. God damn. I'll tell them I'm a ghost and couldn't open the front door because I don't have a physical body and that they shouldn't discriminate against me because of my spirit status. Or just say the delivery guy didn't ring the doorbell. Honestly, that first play isn't even that bad because there actually are ghosts in Elmore and if there's <laughs> like an anti-discrimination law, that would work. They probably do have some anti-discrimination laws for the ghosts. You know who did this, right? Darwin. No, the delivery guy. <laughs> Darwin. <laughs> he thought Darwin did it. Come on, Richard, you can do this. <gasps> Free ice cream for Richard Watterson? Is this the eagle uh, holding a grudge against this move? But of course, Mr. Watterson. Wait, I know that voice. How could he be getting ice cream and delivering at the same time? Because he's an Amazon delivery driver and they don't pay him shit. <laughs> he's so got he to work to, He jobs. owns an ice cream job on the side. <laughs> What? How did they get- Man, this episode's breaking the fabric of time right now. It's breaking my brain. This episode's breaking bad right now. I think it's breaking good. Like, the mailman, he has like a family to support and everything, and he did lot. Ah, he's done it again! He's getting kinky with it. Why is he like, like doing that with his I mouth? Do that? It's like doing a little slutty pose with it and everything. You're late, Watterson. But I'll give you one more chance to get your package. This man has too much time. Get a hobby. Like, he doesn't actually. have a girlfriend. When I said he had a family earlier, I take it back. This man has no kids, no wife, never got a pussy in his life. Richard just needs to set him up with a hot eagle German woman, like the Ayn Rand of eagles, and like, get him set up. Hello? Ready to give up? You'll never find me, and you'll never get your package, Watterson. This is like a James Bond villain. Is this what it feels like to miss your fucking delivery man? Ah, uh, what am I even worrying about? He'll never find me. He's too lazy. No. That is the shittiest looking food truck I've ever seen. Deliver me. I am delivered! That's like a religious experience right there. Did you see that? That's how I'm gonna kill myself. Collect your package, you bought the same thing all over again? How could you get any lazier? I'll tell you how. My son thought of the idea because I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even come up with the That's idea. That's a good one. No, that makes sense because it's the first smart thing he's done in the episode and it wasn't his idea. So today we're going to be talking about the new drama, the YouTube drama, the YouTuber who did the thing, you know? Is Darwin going to have to apologize for something? He groomed a ghost. The ghost groomed him. They groomed each other and they both made separate apology videos. <laughs> this is a weird relationship, right? This is not a weird relationship. This is extremely wholesome. Well, look at his movement, though. Look at him. He's got the ex exaggerated swagger of a black teen. Like, we already got know the that. the exaggerated swagger of an orange fish. Come on, dish the dirt. There is no dirt. They literally look like what you get when you search perfect couple online. <laughs> perfect couple. That's them. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, this is the girls in the middle school trying to get dirt out of anyone, man. Drama does not need to exist, please. <sighs> uh, what the PNG of the Who is food. this guy? I don't have any doubt. Are you sure? Oh my oh. god, the Big Mouth. Big Mouth invaded Gumball. This is the Doubt Fairy from Big Mouth, probably. Emmy award-winning Doubt Fairy. Mm, I don't get it. 
When you're at the party and you've got to stop Bay from disappearing like the island of Luis in St. Peter's. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get your girls' memes, bro. This, this is the funniest fucking joke in the whole show so far. Wait, how old are you exactly? I'm 327. Oh, she's my a goober. They we God. fucking did it. You need to lock her up. Give her the ukulele, bro. Give her the ukulele. What are you listening to? It's not really your style. Oh, yeah? And what is my style then? Gumball in the background looks pretty funny. <laughs> what the fuck is that? They're the edit tones. You don't know the edit tones? You live under a rock or something? Oh, yes, I love it. Oh, no, she's cool and he's not. Their relationship is gonna be in more pieces than a jigsaw. <laughs> the live gumball commentary is very interesting. Your love is in need of CPR? Oh, that's what I was trying to say. I don't have a pulse. Oh no, he's alive and she's not. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh no, we've no we've known this since we like just three figured years. it out. So good to bump into you after all these years. I know, right? What have you been up to? Hollow Knight? Who is this? I'm Hollow Knight. This is the timeline where Silk Song never came out and I became a stoner in the Elmore universe. I'd never get anything done. I'm talking about Carrie meeting up with that guy. Wait, have you been spying on us? Bro, Darwin really sounds like a baby in this episode. There's probably someone watching us right now. Huh? Oh my god, they broke the fourth wall. That's so funny, guys. Don't worry, don't Whoa! Oh Whoa. my god, go They got the Masaki Yuasa camera angle going on right now. She told me I had nothing to worry about. Dude, this is you versus the guy she told you not to worry about. Dude, this is you versus the guy she told you not to worry about. Literally just did the meme, bro. This episode in particular has been changing art styles like every 30 seconds. Oh, he's cute. That's so adorable. This episode's amazing. See, every show gets better with a problematic age gap. Shut up. No, that's the one bad part. Why'd you have to bring that <laughs> back, Core? Oh, Joanna, we were- Can we clap? Can we clap for saggy titties? Saggy titties have returned to our beautiful spectacles today. I get to look at saggy titties. This is a great episode. Then he chained himself to it again and swallowed the key. But it was still the wrong key, so mom unchained him. And now we don't know what the key he swallowed is for. He swallowed the car key. It's been there for me so many times. It was there when I was a little kid and the world was new and amazing. He's just opening and closing it. Oh, I thought he was going to do the thing that every single little kid does when they're confused as to how the fuck. Is the light on in the fridge when it's closed? Like, I don't know. I'll drive her back to where she bought it and see if we can get a refund. Deal. But that might just have to wait until tomorrow morning. Because I need to make love to my refrigerator right now. Or because of the car keys. I don't know. One or the other. He can do both at the same time. No problem. Lucky I was in the vicinity. <laughs> I mean, the tree was probably dead anyways if it fell over that easily. Tried to give me an out, buddy. Police brutality. <laughs> Dude, Holy Mr. Shit. Small deserved what? it. <laughs> that was so out of pocket. What the actual fuck? Well, according to your warranty, this is where the store should be. He bought it from the secret van. This is like the most lore, like recurring thing in the entire series. This one guy in the van. Here at the reuse and recycling center, we don't melt down or destroy your once treasured possessions. <laughs> they're putting down his refrigerator right now. It's like they're killing his childhood dog right now. Wait. I didn't say goodbye. <gasps> what the fuck? Uh, Is a yeah, dog like fighting like going that. on right now? I am lost. I am at a loss right now. That's the last thing I expected to be going on in there. And nothing will separate us. Hello? Yeah, yeah, just want to order a cat, please. You've got to be fridging me. It's a white Christmas! It's a miracle! Oh my goodness, it's the fucking solitary Superman thing. What are you doing here? I've come to save you! We've come to save you. It was my idea. This is just a representation of Richard eating his emotions, bro. And then they're crystallized as ice. Yeah, he's gonna eat the sausage off and then they're gonna <laughs> fucking all die here. Honey, trust us! You don't need the fridge! Well... If it's important enough for you guys to agree, then I guess you must be right. You don't need the fridge, Richard. You need the food. Uh, 
Thanks for the trade-in. My God, why is he so sweaty? Jesus Christ. Did he piss himself or something? Oh, wait, there is one thing. Oh, they've got gas. What could it be? Find out in season seven of Gumball coming soon to a theater near you. If you hate jokes, check out our Patreon. We don't make any of them. A timely jest to Donna Schultz, Alejandro Paredes, Atomic Leon, Bento, Com Luke, Communism is When No iPhone, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Daryl Herb, Fallen Sun, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Grenados, Gub Stargazer, Gummy Brain Rod, Goonies Now Unison, Isaiah Alford, Ivan Oral, Jalen Hendrick, Josh Gourmet, Kalmui Knight, Lilac Moon, Magnus Atlas and My Artistry, Master Nate, Misty Skies, Native, Nikki H, Noah Holiday, Obama Gaming, Omega Waffles, Pitchin' Witch, Puffles, Samuel Sanchez. Sheriff Nico, Steven said cheese, Sun God, The Last, Here and Seriously, Awesome Possum, Trinity, Martin, Useless Grunt, Alex Wissett, Wyatt Lime, Yahir Sanchez.